First look, an NFL kicker has an easy job. Make a few million bucks to come out and simply make 85 plus percent of your field goal attempts. But the amount of pressure these guys have on them means their job is never easy. Make your field goal and you're the hero. Miss it and you're the scapegoat forever. Just look at these 10 kickers who took pretty much all of the blame for their team's shortcomings after failing to kick the ball through the uprights. I'm Justin Frack, and today we present the 10 most devastating missed field goals in NFL history. At TPS, we post videos every single day, so don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe. Then click the notification bell to be notified when we post a new video. Number 10. Pete Stoyanovich, 1994 AFC Divisional Round Miami Dolphins' great Dan Marino is widely regarded as the greatest quarterback that never won the Super Bowl. The man carried Miami on his back for a decade and a half, but it wasn't enough to win a championship ring. Marino and the Dolphins experienced a great deal of playoff heartbreak, but few hurt more than the 1994 AFC Divisional Round when Miami visited the San Diego Chargers. The home team led 22-21 with half a minute to go, but John Carney executed a poor squib kick and Miami was given good field position. Marino and the Dolphins drove into San Diego territory. Pete Stoyanovich just had to kick a 48-yard field goal, and Miami would be AFC Championship bound. It was not going to be an easy kick thanks to all the pressure, and the high snap didn't help either. Stoyanovich and the Dolphins were oh so close to getting to the AFC title game, but as usual, Marino's team went home with a devastating loss. This time, it came by a missed field goal. Number 9. Jan Stenerud's 1971 AFC Divisional Nightmare Jan Stenerud is one of the greatest and most accomplished kickers in NFL history. The Hall of Famer won Super Bowl IV with the Kansas City Chiefs and was a four-time Pro Bowler throughout his illustrious career. But Stenerud endured one tough day in the Chiefs' 1971 AFC Divisional Round home game against the Miami Dolphins. He missed a 29-yarder earlier in regulation, but Stenerud had a chance to redeem himself late in the fourth quarter. Stenerud lined up for a potential game-winning 32-yarder with less than a minute to go, but it was wide right. It only got worse from there as Stenerud had another game-winning kick in overtime block. The Dolphins would go on to win the Thriller in double overtime, shocking the KC crowd. Stenerud, who was always a clutch kicker, wound up missing three big ones on this particular day. Number 8. Nate Kading Charger C Dream Season End 2006 really felt like it would be the year of the San Diego Chargers. They posted an NFL Best 14-2 record. Philip Rivers shined in his first season as a starter, and running back LaDainian Tomlinson won the MVP award. Tomlinson also had 31 total touchdowns, a single-season NFL record. It really felt like the year of the Chargers. But they had to deal with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots, who already had three Super Bowls to their name. A series of Charger mistakes helped the Patriots erase an eight-point deficit in the fourth quarter. Steven Gostowski put the Patriots up by a field goal with just over a minute left, putting the Chargers' promising season on ice. Rivers drove San Diego downfield and gave Nate Kading a chance to force overtime. He just had to make a 54-yarder, but uh, you know why he's on this list. And just like that, LT's record year in the Chargers' incredible season came to an abrupt end. Oh, what could have been if Kading just made that field goal? Number 7. Cody Parkey's Double Doink The Chicago Bears were one of the biggest feel-good stories of the 2018 season. Rookie coach Matt Nagy helped quarterback Mitch Trubisky take his game to another level, and the trade for Khalil Mack paid major dividends. The Bears went 12-4 to lock down the NFC North in their first playoff berth in eight years. All Chicago had to do was defeat the defending champion Philadelphia Eagles in the wildcard round, and they'd punch a ticket to the divisional round. With Chicago trailing 16-15 late, Trubisky drove Chicago downfield and put them in prime position to win the game. All kicker Cody Parkey had to do was make a 43-yarder, and the defending champions would be eliminated. But oh, Parkey's kick was tipped by Trayvon Hester, and it took two doinks before falling to the ground. No good. And the Bears' dream season came to an end. Credit Hester for making the play. The defending champions lived to fight another day. Number 6. Doug Bryan, Two Times Not a Charm Fittingly, the New York Jets got to the 2004 AFC Divisional Round because of some kicking woes from the San Diego Chargers. Nate Kading missed a field goal in overtime of the wildcard round, allowing Jets kicker Doug Bryan to eventually boot the game-winning kick instead. So the Jets traveled to Pittsburgh to take on the 15-1 Steelers. Not too many folks outside of New York gave this team a chance, but the game stood tied at 17 late in the fourth quarter. 
Bryan missed a 47 yarder with just over two minutes left, but David Barrett picked off Ben Roethlisberger and gave New York another chance to win the game. Bryan needed to make a 43 yarder and the Jets would be in the AFC Championship game. And with that, the Jets would go on to lose in overtime. Bryan was let go by New York after the season. Number five, Billy Cundiff, bye bye Super Bowl. The Baltimore Ravens won the Super Bowl the following year. That's why it seems like many often forget about Cundiff's terrible miss when it comes to discussing the most devastating missed field goals ever. So the venue was the 2011 AFC Championship game between the Ravens and New England Patriots. Baltimore trailed by a field goal in the final minute, but Joe Flacco drove them down into the red zone. Lee Evans dropped a potential game-winning touchdown pass in the waning seconds as Sterling Moore stripped the ball out of his hands. That meant kicker Billy Cundiff had to come out for a 32-yard field goal attempt, and he totally blew it. But yeah, the Ravens came back into New England and won the AFC title game a year later. They would beat the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 47 with Justin Tucker as their kicker. So Ravens fans forgot about his miss pretty quickly. Number four, Mike Vanderjack, 2005 AFC Divisional Round. After years of playoff heartbreak, 2005 truly felt like it would be different for the Indianapolis Colts. Peyton Manning had one of the finest seasons of his career, and the Colts finished with the NFL's best record at 14-2. The Colts hosted the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 2005 AFC Divisional Round, but everything was looking miserable through three quarters. Indy trailed 21-3 in the fourth quarter, but Manning rallied his team, and they cut the lead to three with four and a half minutes to go. Pittsburgh looked to put the game away as running back Jerome Bettis was about to run it into the end zone. Miraculously, the Colts forced a fumble, and Nick Harper was about to take it to the house until Ben Roethlisberger made the game-saving tackle. The Colts still drove downfield, and reliable kicker Mike Vanderjack just needed to make a 46-yarder to force overtime. But nope. And that huge comeback attempt was all for nothing. Number 3. Blair Walsh hooks it. The Minnesota Vikings were a nice surprise in 2015, winning the NFC North Division and setting up a showdown against the Seattle Seahawks in the wild card round. Quarterback Teddy Bridgewater pieced together a wonderful drive against the Legion of Boom secondary, and many looked poised to put away the defending NFC champions. Ultra-reliable kicker Walsh just had to make an easy 27-yarder. Yes, the Vikings have screwed up so many times like this before, but seriously, how was Walsh going to botch this? There was no way, or was there? Never mind, Walsh missed the kick and it added another game to the long list of devastating Minnesota Vikings losses. Worse yet, this isn't even the worst missed field goal in Vikings history. Number 2. Gary Anderson's Imperfect Miss In 1998, Minnesota Vikings really felt like a team of destiny. Led by quarterback Randall Cunningham and dynamic wide receivers Randy Moss and Chris Carter, Minnesota rewrote the record books. The Vikings set a record for most points scored in a season with 556, and they finished with a superb 15-1 record. Oh, and kicker Gary Anderson converted every single field goal and extra point attempt in the regular season. The heavily favored Vikings met the Atlanta Falcons in the NFC Championship game, and Anderson had the chance to be a hero. Minnesota led by a touchdown with just over two minutes left, and Anderson just had to boot a 38-yarder to punch a trip to the Super Bowl. But Anderson's kick missed wide left, and you know the rest. Atlanta drives down the field and scores a touchdown to force overtime. They go on to win in the extra frame, and the Vikings were left heartbroken forever. Anderson's miss is widely considered the most devastating moment in Vikings history as their historic season came to an abrupt end. And number one, Scott Norwood wide right. Led by quarterback Jim Kelly and the no huddle offense, the Buffalo Bills advanced the Super Bowl 25 when they met Lawrence Taylor's New York Giants. And boy, did we ever get a Super Bowl for the ages. The game was dominated by the defense, but the Bills got the ball with just over two minutes left, needing only a field goal to win, trailing 20 to 19, Buffalo drove down the field and put kicker Scott Norwood in position to be the hero. Norwood came out to kick a 47-yard field goal. Make it, and the Super Bowl goes to the Buffalo Bills for the first time ever. It was simple, but the kick never really had much of a chance. That would be the first of four straight Super Bowl losses for the Bills. Simply put, they never recovered from the loss. 
You wonder how much history could have changed if Norwood had kicked that ball through the uprights. Which other devastating field goal should we have covered? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.